Are you tired of your old makeup routine? Celebrity makeup artist, uh, Neil Muir, is with us. She is from New York, and she's got some great suggestions for you. Out with the old, in with the new. Is this something that you get this time of year, Neil? Well, some people are tired of their old routine, and they want to, you know, get out of that beauty rut and try something new okay. for the new year. And some quick and easy, simple changes you can make can really alter your routine without going to, you know, okay. heavy or well, you breaking the bank. Well, you have suggestions for us this I morning. I sure do. Um, we have a lovely model, too, lovely here. Lovely model, Rachel. Okay, well, you know, typical, most people do the traditional face first and then the eyes last. Yeah. Well, a nice way to make it easier for you is do your eyes first, contrary to what most people do. Do your what eyes first. It, it makes a mess under the eye, and then okay. you're putting base or foundation over a very messy palette, you know, clean, wipe, fresh, and start all over. Okay. Much better. And good. So that's one little tip. Another thing is the ever-used smoky eye, a more subtle version is take a smoky shadow of your choice, like subtle bronze or gold. Okay. And do that. And close. Just do that all over your lid. Can everyone do the smoky eye? Well, no. yeah, everyone can. There's different versions. You know, if you use like a softer, see what I'm using here? Yes. Just it's a bronze. Like a, it's it's like great a, for holiday, too. It's like a sable. It's a sable, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you can use now for a darker skin complexion, like myself, you would just use that. Okay. Like that, okay? That's really great. So it's really just all over the lid. Okay. And you see what I mean, how it's falling? Yes. You know? So, so that way you can wipe it off. You can wipe it off. Foundation. Absolutely. <clears throat> That's a good tip. A I know I do it the other way. And I do well, have that problem people, where that stuff flakes off. Most yeah. people do. Most people think, oh, I'm so dark under it. Half of it is your eye makeup falling. That's, yep. Good tip. Okay. All right. So what else can we do then? Um, another thing, um, a lot of women, you know, common thing I see is that like blue eyes, green eyes, blue blue eye people use blue eyeliner. Okay. Green eye people use green eyeliner. Try using an opposing color for a dramatic pop. Green eyes use a dark plum or brown. Okay. Blue eyes try charcoal gray, black. And what about the eyeliner? I mean, do they want it to extend all the way to the end? Well, what that's, do they say? that's a personal preference. Right now on the runways and all, you know that big wing tipped look. That's yeah. another tip from day to night. Keep it straightforward for the day and then at night just add a little wing on the yeah. end, you know? It's almost like extending your eyelash. It, it does extend it's your eyelash. Like we have seen a lot of people with those faux lashes. What do you think about those? Oh, they're great. Yeah. I mean, there's so many different versions. You can do individuals. Individuals are big now. Mm -hmm. Simple, subtle. And let go. All right, so she has, Rachel has green eyes, so you would be using like a I'm going to use a brown, a cream okay. brown eyeliner. It's another thing, cream eyeliner. And then don't match your eyeliner with your eyeshadow. Is that or what is it that? Well, that was what I was saying about yeah. don't necessarily match. A lot of people do, and it's it's oh, yeah, personal yeah. preference. But try try using an opposing color. What about yeah, tinted moisturizer? You think this is the way to I go? I think that is a great way to go. Give yeah. your skin a break. It's dewy. It's youthful. It's a nice. And if you don't want to go out and buy, you know the economy's not the best right now. If you don't want to break the the bank, go out. You can just take a, a moisturizer, mix it with half of your foundation, okay. and there you go. That's a good idea. Real quickly, we only have about 15 seconds, Neil. Um, okay. What about the lips? The lips, I say, you know who you are with that heavy lip liner. You can forego liner altogether, or if you really must use lip liner, put a gloss on and then put your liner over last. Okay. So you're not seeing that. And cream blush. Line. Cream blush is great. Youthful glow. It reflects the light. Very and real dewy. quickly, 09 trends for the spring. What are we going to see? 09 trends are all about clean, youthful, dewy skin. Okay. The fresh look, softer shadows, um, you know, a soft nude lip. Okay. Great. Neil, thank you so much. Thank I wish we had you more time. So we appreciate much. it. Out with the old and with the new, especially with your makeup. Thank you, Jennifer.